everyone, happy Thursday. So today's video is going to be my February favorites. I have not done a monthly favorites in so long, you guys, so long, and I'm well overdue. I am planning on doing these each month now, and a big reason why is because I always get questions asked about stuff that I'm trying out for IGTV or just in videos and stuff, and I don't have enough time to be able to talk to you guys all about the products that I'm testing out. So I have a few products in here that I got new this month. Some other stuff are like holy grail products I have not talked to you guys about that I am beyond excited because some of these will literally change your life. So anyways, before we get in the video, if you're brand new, hello, my name is Madison. Feel free to hit the subscribe button, ring the little bell notification if you like, follow me on Instagram. I always post on there when I am uploading a new video, so that is probably the best way to kind of stay up to date. But always make sure to tune in on Tuesdays, Thursdays, and Saturdays. Tuesdays are my mommy content. So basically, if you are a mom and you love my Life of Maddie channel, I've kind of brought everything over here on one channel so you know for Tuesday videos, they're gonna be mommy content. It's easier for me to put them all on one channel. So that is what I do on Tuesday. So if you love mom stuff, lifestyle stuff, check out Tuesdays. And then on Thursdays are for the makeup lovers. So basically favorites videos on makeup or beauty products, uh, testing out new makeup where we're trying out some new launches that I opened up on Saturdays. So definitely tune in for Thursdays. And then Saturdays, as you guys know, are my famous PR unboxings, which all of you love. I love doing them for you guys to kind of stay up to date with all the new beauty launches for the week because I get so much PR every single week and it really helps us stay up to date. Okay, what is new? What should we look at? What should we pass on? all that fun stuff. So definitely tune in on those days and follow me on Instagram. But without further ado, let's go ahead and get into my favorites. All right, so first off are two skincare products that I absolutely love. I had to stop using them for a short period of time because they do have ingredients in it that I cannot use when I was pregnant. So I went through a miscarriage in December, as you guys know, and we've been trying to conceive. And honestly, it's been a rough journey. I will talk about it further down the line later on when I'm ready, but um, I basically started my cycle this week and my skin went through it. It went through it. So since I knew I wasn't pregnant, I opened these back up and these literally have changed my skin in just two days. I'm telling you, if you are suffering from acne or texture bumps, you need to get both of these products and they're very affordable too. So these are from Paula's Choice. This is the Skin Perfecting 2% BHA Liquid Exfoliant. It has salicylic acid in it, which is why I wasn't using it when I was pregnant. You don't wanna use any salicylic acid, no acne fighting ingredients, no retin-A's when you're pregnant. So since I know I'm not pregnant, I started using these and they're amazing. This is the Skin Perfecting 2% BHA Liquid Exfoliant. It has salicylic acid in it, which is why I stopped using it, but Oh my goodness, this stuff is amazing. I just put a little bit on a cotton pad after I wash my face. I put this on and then I top it off with this booster. And this boost right here really is a booster. Like you got to use these hand in hand together because it literally makes it work 10 times faster. And this is also from Paula's Choice. This is their 10% azaleic, azelaic, I don't even know if I said that right, acid. This has licorice and salicylic acid in it too. Again, why I was not using it. And now I'm starting to use it again. So telling you these two products right here, if you are suffering from texture, acne, get these. They are such amazing, like life-changing products and they don't dry out your skin. So definitely check these out. I'll have a link down below. I think this is like $25. Um, this, I don't know how much this one is, but I know that they're both very reasonable in price. They do not break the bank. So definitely check them out. I swear you guys will not regret it. You will see changes within the first couple days. All right, so for a skincare product this month that did not work for me that I've been trying out a little bit on and off and I've found that it's actually breaking me out is the Glow Recipe Banana Souffle Moisture Cream. This stuff smells so good, you guys. Like I want this in a candle. I want this in a hand soap. It smells so bomb. But my face does not like it. It's a little bit too fragrance for my skin and it caused a lot of little breakouts around and I was like, what is breaking me out right now? And I figured it was this and I'm pretty, I'm about 99.9% .9 positive it was this. Um, just a little too fragrance for me. I do have sensitive skin, so I really try hard not to have like fragrance in my moisturizers. Um, and I just like stuff that's a little bit more simple. So again, it smells bomb, but 
my skin did not like it. So this really comes down to what your skin likes, what type of skin you have, do you have sensitive skin or not. So for some people this works for, for me it unfortunately did not. So I just wanted to update you guys on that. Now let's get into makeup. And first up, I have this cute little guy right here. This is from Too Faced. This is the Sun Puppy Bronze Limited Edition Bronzer. You can only get this on TooFaced.com. I will have it linked down below. Part of the proceeds are donated to charity. So this bronzer is so pretty, you guys, and it's so sinking cute too. I have to give it to the packaging. It really wins my heart, but I love the bronzer as well. I've been using it every single day. It's gorgeous on the skin. It has like a nice light sheen to it that kind of brings a really healthy glow to the skin. But I will warn you, if you are medium to deeper skin tones, it's probably not gonna work for you. It's gonna be too light. But if you are more fair to medium, I think you will really enjoy it. I have been obsessed with it. So I've been using this one nonstop. You guys saw it on my IG TV from like the past week and everyone was asking me what I thought about it and you guys it's a thumbs up check it out it's also the cutest sticking with bronzer I have a liquid bronzer here and this is from Charlotte Tilbury this is the Hollywood contour wand in fair to medium amazing if you have dry skin or mature skin this will be your best friend let me tell you I love this stuff. Sometimes I use it by itself and I won't top it off with anything or other times I will top it off with the Too Faced bronzer, but it's so beautiful on the skin and it blends out beautifully too. I love the way it looks on my skin. I have a lot of expression lines and little fine lines and wrinkles. I'm getting older. I'm going to be 31 here soon and they're really coming out. So I have to be careful with powder products right now. So I've been using a lot more creams, which you're going to kind of see later on in this video. And this has done wonders. I love it. I love the way that it looks on my skin. This is going to be, I'm gonna be picking up another one because I'm almost out of this. This is also going to be a great bronzer for the summertime. Like you don't even have to put foundation on. You can just put this in little areas just to add a little bit more depth to the cheeks, to kind of chisel them out a little bit and it will be beautiful. So definitely check this out if you have dry or mature skin. I think you will really, really enjoy this as well. Sticking with cream and liquid products, we have a blush that I have been loving. I use this blush literally every single day. I'm wearing it right now on my cheeks. This is from Butter London. I showed these in a video and when I tried them out, I fell in love instantly. It's so beautiful on the skin. This color is called Inspired and it is, oh my gosh, you can use these on the cheeks, you can use them on the lips. I sometimes will put it on my lips and like pat it on there as well, but they blend out beautifully. Sometimes I apply this with a dense brush. Sometimes I apply it with my fingers. Sometimes I apply it with my sponge. It works all ways. I love it. And I love the way that it looks on my cheeks. It just kind of sits on the skin really beautiful and it lasts for a really long time on the cheeks too and just brings a really pretty flush to the cheeks. So. Love this cream blush. They have different shades of it, so definitely check it out. I'm sure, I think they sell these at Ulta, so you can even go in store and swatch a couple, but Inspired has been my favorite shade from the collection. All right, so since I've been trying out so many liquid and cream products for blush and bronzer, I was like, I need to go in my stash and find me a highlighter now. So I went and grabbed my Marc Jacobs one right here, and I have not used this in so long long. I feel like even when I did have it, I didn't even use a ton of it. These are the Do You Do Drops and these are beautiful. Such a beautiful liquid highlighter and oh, it just sits so well on the skin. It's a really pretty kind of light golden highlight so you can definitely get away with it if you are fair. I was a little worried at first because I was like, oh this might be too dark for me if I'm fair but it blends into the skin beautifully. I apply this either with my finger or with my sponge and either way works out just perfectly and it just sits really, really nicely on the skin and just brings a really pretty glow to it. So I definitely recommend this one if you're looking for a liquid highlighter. Again, a great product for dry and mature skin. Okay, so you guys know my obsession with lip products. I have a huge obsession with lip products. Like that is the one area that I have yet to declutter because it breaks my heart to get rid of lip products. <laughs> but this one right here has been one of my favorites and I'm telling you, you guys have got to try it. You will fall in love instantly. This is the Bobbi Brown Crushed Oil Infused Gloss. These are so moisturizing and so beautiful on the lips. They have a huge range of colors. They're not crazy opaque, which is another reason why I kind of like it because it kind of just brings a really pretty light tint to the lips. This shade right here is my favorite shade. This is called New Romantic. 
I use this one almost on an everyday basis because I have it sitting in my bathroom. So before I leave my bathroom, after I change and everything to get out the door, I throw this on really fast and it is beautiful. Like look at that shade. It's like my lip color, but better. And it not only really moisturizes the lips, but also gives it a really beautiful shine too. I'm actually gonna pop some on right now because I love this stuff. You can top this over a lip liner or a lipstick or just by itself. I wear this a lot of the time by itself because it just does a beautiful job at moisturizing lips, bringing a little bit of a tint to it, kind of bringing them alive again. And the formula is hands down one of the best. So definitely pick this one up. This is the shade I highly recommend, New Romantic. That is my favorite color from the collection. Okay, so for my last monthly favorite is actually in the gaming department. And if you're new, you're probably learning now that I am a huge lover of video games. And what I've been obsessed with on the Switch is Pokemon Sword. Oh my goodness, I beat the game a while ago, but the way that they made the new format, it's like more of an open game kind of format now. They're doing updates and stuff. We have new lands coming down the line, which I've already prepaid for and I cannot wait. They have made it so much fun with the raid dents and being able to battle with people like online and stuff. And I'm just like, this is so different than what they've done in the past. So I've been really hooked on it and I've been playing like all the max raid dents. I even finally beat Mewtwo, which Mewtwo was so hard to beat, but he dropped so many good items. So I try to hop in as many max raid Dens I can from you too, but you just gotta get paired with the right people that are using the right Pokemon and using the right moves. But anyways, been obsessed with it. I love Nintendo, I love Pokemon, and I am highly anticipating Animal Crossing. I was looking so forward to that over the holidays and then they freaking delayed it all the way until March now. So it's coming out in 17 days from when I'm filming this, today's third. So so stoked for the new Animal Crossing. I feel like we haven't had an Animal Crossing in a really long time too. And I love the Switch. I never play this on the TV. I only play it handheld because I can see it better. But I'm telling you, if you guys are a huge game lover and stuff, you need to check out Pokemon Sword. It is so good. I've always said I wanted to do a gaming channel or go onto Twitch, but honestly, I am spread so thin already. There is no way I can do all that. But I just love it. It's a great fun hobby for me to kind of de-stress and gives me something to do for myself. So I do it every single night before <laughs> I go to sleep. I try to get all my work done that I have to get done once Riley goes to sleep and then I play this for a couple hours. I might be a little tired in the morning, but it's a really big de-stressor for me. But anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this February favorite. I definitely will be doing these every single month. Let me know in the comments down below. What were your favorites this month? What were your flops? Like, what have you tried that did not pan out for you? I would love to hear those too. So definitely leave those in the comments down below so I can talk with you guys. And I will see you all in my Saturday video.